This is where good luck is born. A dragon? She's the only creature that can sniff out bad luck. There's bad luck here too? Good luck on top, bad luck on the bottom. I had so much fun watching luck with my family, especially because it felt so fresh. And I was like thoroughly interested in exploring this land that I'd never seen before or heard <laughs> of. So maybe- That's awesome. That's awesome. I love it. about bringing it to life. Yeah. So uh, listen, we wanted to take the audience to a place they've never seen before, the land of luck, which they didn't know existed before the movie, right? But it was something super familiar to everyone, right? Luck, everyone experiences good and bad luck every day in their lives, but they just didn't know it came from this amazing magical world. No, it was so creative. And I'm watching with my kids and we were like, what's going to happen next? Wait, there's a bottom part. I mean, it was just so, so creative and so different. So it was a really fun, like experience as well. And then, and then the idea of good luck versus bad luck, and maybe it's all through the lens that you look at it, right? So talk a little bit about how it might be difficult to know which is better. Uh, no, it's totally true. You know, we really, um, we really came on a couple, a couple things about luck as we were researching the movie, right? So, uh, so we sat down and we did a lot of research about luck itself. And humans are obsessed with luck. It's so interesting. There are so many papers and books and lectures, and there's a lot of material out there about the idea of luck. And the very, very true fact about luck is it's totally random, right? You can't create it. You, you don't know when it's coming either way. And so, you know, for this particular story, at the heart of the story is our, our hero, Sam, right? And she has some real life bad luck where she is grown up in the foster care system without a family. And we were lucky enough to interview these young adults who had been through the same situation that Sam had been through. And they really, really, despite the real bad luck they've had in their lives, they were so positive and generous of heart and hopeful about what's to come in the future. And they shared with us, they wouldn't want to relive this bad luck that they've had, but they wouldn't change it because it brought them to who they are today. And so we were so moved by that, that we were like, that is the story, isn't it? You know, sometimes in your life, when you're having the worst bad luck ever, you look back and you go, wait a minute, but that led me to this, which was the best good luck ever, right? And in our case, it leads our lead character to love, which, you know, come on, who doesn't want love? <laughs> love that, that story of adoption and finding your forever family and what that looks like was part of the story, um, but it wasn't necessarily like the driving force per se. Like we still have all this fun adventure going on around it, yet at the core, you have this real tug that you want to make sure this little girl gets a family and you want to make sure <laughs> Sam's okay too. Yes, and totally. you had me pulling for a cat, which would not normally happen. <laughs> I would be- Are you a dog person? Are you a, a dog? dog person? Yeah. Yes, but I loved Bob. I love yes, Bob. Yes, <laughs> of course. He's so lovable. <laughs> Well, so, and, and then talk to me, I know you have a, a big choreography background, mm -hmm. but it, so I was thrilled to see that there was, of course, a big breakout dance scene. Um, so thank you for that. But then also yeah. like, talk to me how it helps with the overall movement of the characters. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's just, you know, it's my, it's my first love. It, it's what I know. I was a dancer in film and television and then a choreographer in film and television. And so I just approach things with a sense of rhythm. It, it's just who I am, right? So as we're uh, directing a scene or, or working with the editor in, in the editorial bay on a scene, for me, I'm always hearing a rhythm in my head. So for me, I think it's just a natural, it's something I can bring to the table, let's put it that way, because it's just ingrained in who I am as an artist. Good luck to us both. Someone's